let me paint you a picture. It's 6 a.m., you have 30 minutes to get ready. You open your closet, boom, you have nothing to wear. Why? Sheer amount of clothing leads to indecisiveness. You're tired of wearing the same outfits every week. Or you're just lazy and you forgot to do the laundry and now you only have one clean piece of clothing which happens to be this dress. Well, you're in luck, my friend. I am the more experienced, the more wise, and more fashionable friend of yours that will show you how to wear a dress in six different ways. First off is the dress itself. You can't spell success without the double S. Stretchy and sleeveless. That's how you want your dress to be. So the dress I have here is sleeveless. It has a spaghetti strap and it also has a garterized back which will be very helpful later on. Essentially, what do these two things do? It makes it very easy to use for layering and that is what will unlock all of the other outfits in this video. Aside from those two, you also want to elevate the outfit with some interesting details like the tie details on the front or an interesting pattern because that's actually what's going to guide you in the color palettes for your outfits like here with the red of the shoes and the red of the dress. And lastly, to take this dress from a meh to a Julia Barreto dress moment, if you know, you know, you must make it personal. What do I mean by that? Just look at Julia Barreto's dress. It was so simple, but the fact that it fit her so well, that's one. And she accessorized it, made it look like an outfit. So for this outfit, I wore a matching headscarf and wearing some simple clean gold accessories, especially my heart necklace, which my Joa gave to me. This outfit is something I would wear on a lazy Sunday morning, um, running errands, going to church, as if I don't spend enough time on my knees already. Now the second way to wear this outfit is called overdress, where you wear something over the dress. Very self-explanatory. I'll let you in on a secret. Interesting jackets can save you from so much boring outfits without even having to lift a finger. May it be colors, patterns, textures, or anything that can add some variety into your outfit is going to elevate it so much. Like right here, I'm wearing a red corduroy jacket it's adding that element of texture as well as it has some nice shoulders but you read some in it in it up in us stuff for the sake of fashion we're going to be wearing jackets today okay unfortunately climate change is gonna come to take us all it's gonna be hot whether you like it or not might as well look hot while doing it be hotter than climate change make that a hashtag <laughs> I paired a red corduroy jacket with this corduroy tote bag and inside a book because who said that bimbos cannot? Reading is hot. Put that on my gravestone. Moving on to the third way you can wear this dress, you can wear this dress as a skirt because dresses are just really long skirts if you just think about it. Philosophy. Now this is where the dress being sleeveless comes into fruition because you can wear any sleeve top and it will just blend right in. And you can play around with the top, colors, textures, prints, but most importantly, silhouettes like the one I'm wearing right here. A puff sleeve top that exaggerates my shoulders, you know me. It's giving me Filipiniana, it's giving me butterfly sleeves. And to go with the whole Dalagang Pilipina vibe of the outfit, I wore my hair scarf from before, my pearl drop earrings, my gold necklace, and I changed out the shoes from the red closed toe shoes to some open white strappy heels to make it more summery along with my summery picnic bag. All these details combined make the perfect tita brunch outfit, you know what I mean? But wait, there is more to that outfit. Flip the script, uno reverse, plus four. There is the fourth way to wear that dress and that is the underdress where you layer tops under your outfit. Now it's the stretchiness of this dress that will make it easier for us to layer things underneath. Like with this top, same thing, same puffy sleeve top, but now you have what it looks like to be a whole new dress. Now imagine same components of the outfit, same everything. You just wore the top underneath and then boom, your cottage core from Tita to Dalagang Pilipina, yeah. Same rules apply, play around with the top, that's what she said. 
What I mean by that is, if you're not feeling the lagam Pilipina, yeah, just switch it out and be more ratatouille. That sounded Italian. It was supposed to be French. You can switch it out with a more formal long sleeve top with this amazing bib collar that's very in right now. Sana naman tawagin mo na akong baby kasi nakabib na ako, di ba? Uh, <laughs> If the short sleeves are for the brunch out with the titas or the provincial life of the Dalagang Pilipina, the long sleeves, I would say, is more for special date nights with my boyfriend. Now, for the fifth way to wear this dress, I'm going to be showing you a magic trick. I am going to fit this midi-length dress into these pants and make it into a top. That was the cue. Did it happen? Unfortunately, this trick doesn't turn humans into tops, but it can work on dresses. And I'm here to reveal the secret. Even though magicians aren't supposed to reveal their secrets, I am very generous. And the secret is elastic. So you're going to take a piece of elastic that is enough to wrap around your hips, and you want to tie it over the dress. This is what's going to act as the dress's new waistband. So now you want to take the fabric of the dress and tuck it cleanly under that elastic you want to take your time go slow go around make sure you don't miss a spot and you want to make sure that the tucking is remaining at the hips because your high-waisted pants which will be on your waist is going to cover all the tucking that happened on your hips as you can see here when the pants are side by side with the dress it will cover it up so step into those pants it's best to do this with loose high-waisted pants and just re-tuck it again get in there you know have some really not so family friendly imagery for this video and voila you have this dress as a top i would highly suggest wearing a cardigan over it just so that you can cover any tucking mistakes that you make this is probably what drag queens go through no and joke lang and so to match with the whole casual vibe of the outfit i switched out the earring for some cherry ones and some pastel green knock off designer bag this outfit is definitely more casual than the others it's giving me soft girl vibes girl next door she doesn't wear heels she wears sneakers type of girl and finally the sixth way to wear this dress is to just mix and match you guys know the basic methods to wear this dress and now you can put your own spin in it like for example the garter trick that i just taught you moments ago can actually be used to turn your dress into a skirt for sleeveless tops yes that is correct you just take the garter, put it on your waist, and instead of folding the fabric under this elastic, you're going to be folding it over that elastic, essentially making a new waistband for your skirt. And then boom, there you have it, skirt, outfit. And since this whole outfit was giving me French market vibes on Chante, I switched out the cherry earrings for some pearl ones, took the same white cardigan from earlier, and just draped it over my shoulders for a more effortless look. And then I got my net bag, and instead of having fruits or maybe a baguette inside, all I had was some sliced bread from the panaderia. Let's go get that bread! You can also play around with color, make a monochromatic outfit like what I did here with this brown-orange ensemble. You can also wear the dress over and under something. You know how if there's more layers to a person, more layers to their personality, the more interesting they are. Same thing applies to fashion. Kahit mainit sa Pilipinas, go ahead, wear that layer. Another thing is that accessories will always make a difference. Your bags, your shoes, also your hair. May it be up or down. Play around with it and you will find that you'll make a different outfit each time. And lastly, the smallest details make the outfit personal to you. Like I said, if I gave this dress to anyone else, they wouldn't style it the same way as I do. And if they do, well, they're just copycats and I'm the original. <laughs> Fashion is an expression of yourself. So if that expression doesn't feel genuine to your character, then what's the whole point of dressing up? Okay, so to recap, this is how you wear a dress in six different ways. My back hurts now. 
those are all my tips for today i hope you guys enjoyed that and hopefully you can make more out of your closet if you like that video consider subscribing if not then you're just not gonna be hot for climate change